Jonathan Nagger for seconds out here with Craig Spider Richards. Cheers, the man himself. <laughs> You've won the grudge fight against Andre Sterling. Give second, us your thoughts. Second grudge fight I won. I guess I'm the grudge match master. No, joking. <laughs> no, it was a good fight, man. Uh, he stuck in there. He was tough. Uh, he went down a few times. He got back up. He toughed it out. And, you know, credit to him for doing that. Um, it's just experience, really. Played a major key. Talk about the atmosphere inside York Hall tonight, especially... You know, when the knockdown came, I think it was in the fourth round. Yeah. Just talk about that sort of atmosphere. Oh, the atmosphere was electric today. It was crazy, you know. We knew it was a sold-out show. Uh, we knew it went viral on social media, me and his beefy our arguments. We, we was viral. We knew we had uh, all the whole ends interested, the whole of South London, the whole of London. You know, there was uh, probably collectively the argument, 300,000 views going around. And it brought a massive in interest, you know, so... I knew I couldn't lose, <laughs> so um, yeah, it was good and I got a bit eager when I realised he couldn't hurt me and I could hurt him, I neglected my boxing a bit, um, Peter said to me in the late rounds, you know, mate, what are you doing, pull it together, get back on your boxing um, and stop looking for the knockout and I got my knock boxing again, hurt him again, um, eager again, um, learning curve, you know, be a bit more professional um, and this is what these fights are about, big fights and big occasions like this, you got to hold it together. You know, be professional about it. Don't let the occasion grab you and go out and do your job. You know, you do it in the gym every single day um, and you're brilliant. But under the lights, with that atmosphere, is where it counts. And I'm racking up my experience now. Um, I've had crazy fights, atmospheres like this a few times now. Boxing the Prince of Palace, you know, five days notice in front of probably 50,000 when I was in there. Um, you know, 02, I had the grudge match with Jake, 10,000 in there. You know, it was another one, the Zone USA. Here again, the Zone USA, Sky Sports, uh, packed arena. Every single person from the area, people who don't even like boxing, has come down to this. You know, so it was good to go out there and get the win, man. What's it like? You said you've had a grudge match before. What's it like during that fight week? Like ma maintaining um, your focus and concentration. Your focus and not getting to the point where you're like, um, like I'm itching. I really want to get my hands on him, and you've got to put a lid on it because you got to wait till fight night. So it's about not burning up and trying to get him. You know, it's all experience. But it's good, man. Now that fight has put you mandatory for Josh Buatzi. He was ringside tonight. Is that the fight you want next? He's obviously just come off a win in at MSG. What are we looking at? You know, like I think like after the performance, you know, people will look at it and think, you know what? Maybe I can get Spider here. You know, with the atmosphere. Obviously, I never got, went out and displayed the best of him through the grudge match. I dropped him a few times and won the fight convincingly. But um, I just believe that me and Josh is a lot bigger maybe in a British title, it's a big money fight. You say, look, I'm uh, 10,000, my grudge match with the O2, wrapped him with people, with Jake, sold this out, you know, from the grudge match with him, where people didn't really know who he was. And grudge match with me, we sold this out. People was ringing me, people went on StubHub, StubHub sold out, Matchroom sold out, I sold out, bought, I got more tickets myself for four fighters, sold out, sold out, sold out. People was ringing me today, Tim, please, can I get, I got at least 50 more calls for tickets today. So you can see, I'm already doing numbers at just the level I'm at now. People have got the interest in the building. Then Joshua's got a massive fan base, Olympian, everyone knows. Everyone says he's the next big thing, you know. So I believe if me and him come together, you know, me and Jake on the show with Ted done like 10,000. Imagine what like me and Josh could do. So I'll be even bigger than a British title, maybe. It's a big fight. Now, we spoke about just Anthony Yard just a minute ago. He's also ringside watching that tonight. He's looking at Sergei, Kov Sergei Kovalev for the WBO title. Yeah. What sort of chances do you give him with that? And is he on your radar as well? In boxing, everyone's got a chance. You saw that. I'm not, not in a way. I'm, I should be a level above my guy tonight. I was letting him in in a couple of rounds, letting him hold, let, making it messy. You know, boxing can get like that, depending on your head, your mindset physical how your camp's gone so in boxing anything can go so yeah i've known anthony a very long time i used to train with him and tunde before you know i'm good friends with him as well you know it's not as i said the fights with him watsi i believe they're world level fights and um i rate them as fighters they rate me as fighters and you know it is what it is it would only be business if we meet at world level but they're not domestic clashes Let's be realistic. Me, Anthony, and Brad, see, we're not domestic clashes. That's a very good domestic clash I had today. That's a domestic clash. And I've had, that's my fourth domestic champion I've beat at, I don't know, 15 fights. So I'm not going to have a them fights at domestic as well. I need to push on. The next big fights need to be on a bit, you know? Now, obviously, your sights might be set on European level. Is that something you're looking at? I mean, fighters have gone up to European level. Ted, Ted Chooseman himself 
came up short. Is that the type of level you're looking at? Would you be confident of I think I taking can. a claim at that? I, I think I could. Don't know if I could need a bit more experience. I'd have to review my fight tonight because um, I was doing a lot of silly things tonight. Not silly. I won the fight convincingly. Dropped him a few times, but um, just keeping my head. Like today, I neglected my boxing sometimes, got looking for the knockout. These are things you can't afford to do at European level. So I have to assess it, go to drawing board and see where I'm at, really. Well, Craig, you've won the Battle of South London tonight. Shoot. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thanks for talking to Seconds Out. No problem.